Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our in-house developed Stock Take App Plus application, which is designed to perform data collection of your stock, inventory items, assets, or any other types of items that require counting or stock taking. This app is also designed by a company which specializes in barcode technologies and therefore provides true stock take features. You can find the app on the Google Play Store and soon it will also be available on the Apple App Store. We can also customize it for Windows 10 Mobile if needed. Please check out in the description below for links and details. You will find our contact details on there as well if you have any questions or suggestions which you may like to highlight. Be sure to check out our other free apps available for download as well. Here I have the app installed on my Android phone. Because this app is a true stock take program, it performs extremely well when used with an enterprise mobile computer that has a barcode scanning engine built in, which I will also show you later in the video. For the exercise, I will simply demonstrate the stock take app plus on my Android phone. So let's get into it. So here we have the stock take app plus application installed on my phone as you can see we're on the main screen we've got a number of buttons with start stock take share counts view counts view lookup and import lookup with this app it's extremely crucial that you import your lookup file which is also known as an item list to produce a lookup file I have an example here Which is an Excel file. Now your lookup file needs to consist of three fields. Most companies out there use a barcode and a description, but some use two different barcodes for the same item and a description. In your case, if you're using only the one barcode, or if some of your items have two different barcodes which you'd like to scan and take stock counts of then use both of them otherwise if there's only one then just use one of them however if you're going to be using um, a single barcode then be sure to put them in column A column B has to stay blank and make sure you put your description in column C. Once you've got your lookup file looking something like this, uh, then you need to go file, save as, place it into a location on your PC. Now, this is very important. You need to save it as text tab delimited text file. Make sure the file is called lookup.txt. Save it, yes. Next thing, you should open the lookup file, the text file, and get rid of the headers. The Stock Take App Plus requires you to use no headers. Save, close. Next, you need to copy the lookup file into your smartphone. Make sure, first of all, that your smartphone is set to file transfer connected to your phone to your PC I'm sorry via USB connection then enter the phone storage go to the download folder and place your lookup file in there which I've already got mine otherwise you just right click and paste once you've done that go back to the stock deck app plus and tap on import lookup when you do that, it actually shows you a spec of what the look lookup structure needs to look like, as you can see. Product ID, supply SKU, description. Now, in your case, you might call it something else. It could be barcode, retail, supplier number, and so on. The important thing is we need three fields, two of which are the key fields or the barcodes for the products. Click yes to proceed. Now, here, also tells you that the file needs to be called lookup.txt 
and it needs to be located in the download folder, which is what we just did. When you're happy with all that, click yes to proceed. Our lookup file has been imported. If we click on view lookup, as you can see, our lookup file has been transferred. You can also share the lookup file if you like, and send it to other departments and so on. Now we are ready to do a stock take. From the main screen, tap on start stock take. Now you should give the stock take session a reference number, otherwise if you're doing a stock take in a particular location or a bin or a lot, ensure to put those numbers in there so that the stock take is tracked by one of these references. For the sake of exercise, I'm just going to call my session location one, pretending that I'm doing a stock take in a particular location. If you have a barcode for that, for your locations, you can also tap on scan and scan the barcode. Proceed. Now we're ready to do a stock take. So this is our stock take screen. We can start by scanning our barcodes. So I've got my a number of items here on my desk. These three items are actually on my desk, which is what I'm going to use, scan in order to do stock takes for them. So I'm going to scan the first item, which is coconut water. So tap on scan, barcode, scan the barcodes. As you can see, the description comes up, which is being read from the lookup file, as you can see on the screen. Now you need to count how many you have on the shelf. Let's say I have five. Then save the record. Next, scan again. We can scan another product which I have here, which is a crunchy peanut butter. And count how many is on the shelf. Let's say we have a hundred. I can simply type in a hundred. Save. These transactions are, as you can see, are saved into the memory of the app and are also displayed down here. The last five counts are displayed here. At any time, you can tap on one, click on edit, maybe change the location, and you've miscounted, maybe change the count to 50, save and update. Yes. And there you go. Up the top, we've also got auto save by quantity of one and auto scan. If you want to scan your products consecutively and allow the app to automatically increment the quantity by one, you need to tap this box. This will basically default the quantity to one and save every record once an item is scanned or entered. So if I scan coconut water again, as you can see, it's automatically saved with a quantity of one. So I can keep tapping scan and scan the rest, the remaining of the products that's on the shelf. Auto save, sorry, auto scan basically allows the app to trigger the scanning um, function automatically without me having to tap on the scan button. So once this is enabled, all you have to do is point the camera at your product and just keep scanning every single product without having to interact with the screen. Once you're done, tap the back button, the back button. And if you're in a different location, you can change simply change the location to whatever you like, wherever you are. Storeroom one and scan all the products that are in that particular location. When you're done for the day and you're ready to export your data, simply go back to the main screen. You can view your accounts. You can edit any account you like. 
you can delete or delete all you can also share your accounts you can share it by um, any compatible apps that are installed on your phone once you've exported and shared your accounts StockTech App Plus produces a CSV file which consists of three different reports in one so here I have an export shared count CSV file which I email to myself and if we open it this is what the report looks like obviously I've only done a number of scans on a number of products but you may have hundreds so let's have a look at these reports quickly so the first report we have is item by total quantity next item by total quantity by location then we've got item by stock take count by date and time when you're done performing a stock take and you've exported all your data and your counts and you're ready for a fresh stock take you can simply go into view counts delete all yes and now you're ready to do a fresh stock take I am now going to show you the performance difference between using the stock take app plus on a normal Android smartphone and another Android smartphone but with a built-in barcode scanner with this smartphone which is your normal phone that you use on a daily basis uses the camera to capture the barcode now let me show you the difference if we go scan you notice the camera tries to focus in order to capture the barcode with econo economical phones like this one it can be slow and flimsy if you're scanning a number of barcodes a day here and there it's not a problem you can use it fine however in high volume scans um, where you need higher efficiency and speed you'll need to get one of these which has the built-in barcode scanning engine which provides you the speed and performance let me show you as you can see it's instant there's no lag there is no wait thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or you would like any details regarding compatible mobile computers with built-in scanners please reach out to us via the contact details in the description below otherwise feel feel free to leave us a comment uh, below and we will be sure to get back to you